Hi everyone, my name's Laura and welcome back to my almost deceased YouTube channel. I did start to do a couple of videos on YouTube a few years ago and then got really scared. I basically got asked to do videos more skincare based, makeup based, and the idea of having everyone see me without makeup freaked me out and I just shut it down. I was like, I'm out. <laughs> and I'm back, clearly with no inhibition. This is just my face. Um, and I wanna try again. So I don't really know how this is gonna go. It might go really, really well, or it might be an absolute disaster. And then I realized that YouTube isn't for me. So to make this comeback, I've decided to actually tackle head on one of the videos that made me stop making videos in the first place, I suppose. Kind of my daily makeup. If you do know anything about me, you'll know that around March time, I completely stopped wearing makeup. I realized that I had a really unhealthy makeup addiction where I just didn't feel good without it. I will link the blog post where I talk about this um, below so you can have a little read if you're interested. My skin wasn't its best, so I did go full blown into my skincare, try to bring everything back to basics and we're left with this. So this is kind of the best my skin's ever looked. And I find not wearing makeup, firstly, it's improved my confidence, but it's also made me appreciate how heavy products can be on your skin. So that's a different topic. I won't get into that right now, but this is why my routine at the moment is very, very natural looking. It's very glowy and I don't wear any foundation. So this is how I'm gonna do it. Right, so firstly, I've actually been using this recently. Um, it's the Clinique Dramatically Different Hydrating Jelly and it's anti-pollution as well. My skin has been very, very dry with the heat and then I'm so combination that I'm like really oily here and then dry like the desert here. So I've just started using this and then realized it's actually a really good primer. So that's the first thing that I've been doing and it's actually made a massive difference in the week I've been using it. And this is literally a freebie, it's tiny, good for travel. So first up, what I wanna do is conceal. Like I said, I'm not wearing any foundation at the moment, so it's just about the concealer. And it's the instant anti, I look like I couldn't read then. Did you see that? I was like, I'm not all right. It's the Instant Anti-Age Eraser Concealer from Maybelline. Um, it's now got Goji Berry. Goji Berry? Is that how you say it? Goji Berry. And I don't know what color this is. I bought it because it looked right. I think it says Delight or Light. But anyway, Goji Berry Concealer on the little round thing. And I literally just put it where I would if I was wearing foundation, just the exact same place. I do almost use this as a bit of a foundation without it being a foundation. Um, and then I'm just taking this brush. I'll, I'll tell you what the brush is. It's the MAC 190 foundation brush. To be honest, I've had it that long. It could be a fake off eBay, <laughs> who knows? My main thing at the moment with my concealer is just hiding my redness. Because girl gets red. Oh, I've got like a lump of dry skin on my nose. I told you I was dry. Next up, I'm gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in medium brown. And I'm using the Makeup Geek Jewel Ended Brow Brush. And I actually always call this um, brand Anastasia, but I think it's Anastasia if you're in the UK. This is my favorite brow product in the world. Does anyone else mm. just have like one brow that just goes so smoothly and the other brow that's like the ugly sister or just distant relative? I mean, the way that this one's going, it's probably the woman who lives three doors down the street. Okay, I bought it back. I bought it back. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna set my brows with the NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel. I have no preference to this eyebrow gel. I just buy whatever's on offer 
or cheapest, to be honest. There we go. I'm just gonna put some powder on my face. And there's a common theme going on here that I am just using this banana powder that was four pounds from Primark. Still has the sticker on it. Glamour brush. It's not, it's not a powder brush. I'm not gonna lie to you and pretend it is. It's not, but it's what I'm gonna be using. I am a sweaty Betty. I need to just make sure that that's a secret for now. You can tell I'm not a makeup artist. <laughs> there you go. We're a little bit more matted, a bit more secretively sweaty. That will do for me. Next up, I am going to carve out my brows and I'm gonna use the classic P. Louise base in Rumour One. And I'm using the Isabella Scott Sydney brush. I think I just got this from TK Maxx and it's actually broken. I'm gonna carve this out. So I don't know if you can really tell any difference, but I have really funny bits of eyebrow here and here. It's really angular, so I like to just blend it out so it looks a bit more at one. At one is the word. Next up, I'm gonna use another broken brush. This time it is from Six Plus. And I'm gonna just contour my cheekbones with the NARS Olympia powder. I mean, if that doesn't summarize who I am as a person. There's a bit of hairs coming with me when I'm trying to do that. But yeah, I'm just really, I like really lightly put it on my cheekbones because I really like to pretend that I'm chiseled. I'm gonna use Anastasia Anastasia contour kit. Again, this has seen better days. This is the light to medium palette and I'm using the darkest shade. And I'm gonna use the MAC 168, I think that says. I've used it for so long, it's completely it's completely come off. And I really lightly put this on because it can be quite intense. I like to put it around my forehead as well to kind of fake having a tanned face. But yeah, just really natural glow is what we're going for. Hopefully we're achieving it. This is the Liberty Blush from NARS. It is pretty, like it is a pretty colour. I just, I've got a lot of expectations when I use it and I don't always get it back. And I watched a video with Hayley Baldwin slash Bieber and she said that she always puts it over her nose to give a bit of a glow. So I'm trying to do that, but this lighting isn't, it isn't necessarily showing you that Californian glow. Then I'm gonna use the Honey Bronzing Powder, and this is from The Body Shop, and I'm using the Lab Squared On A Powder Trip Brush. I actually got this free at an event, <laughs> but it's a good brush. And I just, just kind of like re, like you can see the difference. Just trying to like add that glow. I'm ready to meet Zac Efron on the beach and he's gonna be in some swimming shorts. I'm gonna be like Pamela Anderson. It's gonna be cute. If the mood took me right, I would probably put a little bit of this just on my eyelids as well. But I, mean, I do have eyelash extensions in, so I'm a little bit too lazy to bother doing anything with my eyes at the moment. Um, if I didn't have them in, I probably would. And I'd probably end up putting mascara on, and which I'm not gonna do. Um, I'm gonna put some highlight on. And I'm using the Fenty Beauty Hustler Baby Kilowatt Highlighter. I pack this on. One of the reasons why I really like this is because it's a powder, it just blends so much better on my skin. I've got liquid highlight, which looks really nice until you get into the wrong light. 
and then in certain lights I look like I've been streaming down my face. I've also just started the classic nose highlight. I don't know whether it makes me look like a dog with a wet nose. And I always like to put it as well just under my brow bone. Oh, by the way, this brush is the contour brush from Kevin Acorn. I basically didn't want to buy this brush. It was really expensive. And the lady in the shop guilt tripped me into feeling like I needed to buy it. So then I bought it and I'm happy that I bought it, but it was also like 35 quid for a brush. So thanks to her, good highlights, but also slightly damaged bank account. I can't justify 35 quid on a brush, mate. To finish off, I am just gonna use my Body Shop Vitamin E Moisture Protect Lip Care. But yeah, just like a little lip seal. And that's pretty much it. I do have a couple of lip glosses that I have used before with this. Um, with this look, Pork by MAC is one of my all time favorites. And that looks really nice as well. But just for day to day, I'm just using this. And then I just have a little Vaseline lip pot in my bag, which I just top it up with. And that's kind of it. So this is kind of it. This is my everyday face. This is what I bring to the table every day. Hopefully you like it. If you don't, I'm really sorry. But if you did, I would love it if you left a comment, um, went onto my website, laurajs.com, have a little gander about there. Um, subscribe, tell me what you'd like to see. The list goes on. Come around to my house, have a cup of tea. No, don't, don't, don't do that. I've actually just realised I made a cup of tea and it's still sat over there. Why do I do this to myself?